Hi there, my name is Megan Brennanich and I'm Molly Bergamo. We're both nurse practitioners at an urban health center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania that provides comprehensive medical and family planning services to patients between the ages of 13 and 24 years of age. The majority of our patients are underserved and homeless youth living in and around the city. Over a year ago, after a bit of one-on-one -on -one training with an infectious disease doctor, attending lectures about PrEP, and a detailed review of CDC guidelines, we made the decision to start offering PrEP to patients at high risk of HIV acquisition. We now manage over 60 patients on PrEP. PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis as opposed to post-exposure prophylaxis. It is an important new prevention strategy that is proving to be highly effective in protecting against the acquisition of HIV infection. The PrEP regimen consists of taking one tablet daily of Truvada prior to exposure to HIV as part of a comprehensive HIV prevention strategy. Emcitritabine and tenofovir are the active ingredients that make up For years, the main focus of HIV prevention was on condom use. Unfortunately, this strategy alone has not proven to be effective at halting the HIV epidemic. Approximately 50,000 people in the United States are still infected with HIV each year. According to data published by the CDC from 2010, men who have sex with men, or MSM, remain the population most profoundly affected by HIV. According to the same CDC data, the greatest number of new HIV infections among MSM occurred in young black African American MSM between the ages of 13 and 24. According to the CDC, large studies show that PrEP is over 90% effective at preventing HIV acquisition when taken every day. On July uh, 16, 2012, Truvada was approved by the FDA for PrEP. Additionally, in May 14, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention release new guidelines on PrEP for HIV. I will now review how to assess who is appropriate for PrEP. First, take a detailed sexual history in order to identify which patients are having sex with same sex or opposite sex partners and what specific sexual behaviors may place them at risk for or protect them against HIV acquisition. The CDC PrEP guidelines recommends PrEP for Number one, MSM or men who have sex with men who have at least one of the following risk factors. An HIV positive sexual partner, a bacterial sexually transmitted infection or STI in the last six months, a high number of sexual partners, a history of inconsistent or no condom use, and or they engage in commercial sex work. Heterosexually active men and women living in an area or network with a high prevalence of HIV who have at least one of the following risk factors. An HIV positive sexual partner, a bacterial STI in the last six months, a high number of sex partners, a history of inconsistent or no condom use and or they engage in commercial sex work. Lastly, injection drug users who have at least one of the following risk factors. An HIV positive injecting partner, share injection equipment, and or have had recent treatment for a drug addi addiction but are currently injected. To conclude, as primary care providers, it is essential that we provide comprehensive medical care with a focus on prevention. Preventing avoidable illnesses not only benefits in mul uh, patients in multiple ways, it saves healthcare dollars. According to the CDC, the lifetime treatment cost of an HIV infection in 2010 was estimated to be $379,000. This has increased since then. On more than one occasion, we have had patients come into our health center to start PrEP only to find out they're already HIV positive. They're devastated, not only about their diagnosis of HIV, which they'll live with for the rest of their life, but also that they were unable to start PrEP sooner. There has been debate among many providers about whether PrEP will cause patients to be more promiscuous and engage in more risky sex behaviors. PrEP is not a party drug or a free ticket to have unprotected sex. The reality is that sex happens unexpectedly and condoms break. 
PrEP adds another layer of protection against HIV acquisition that the patient is in control of. When a patient makes the decision to take PrEP, they're making a conscious decision to take a medication to prevent themselves from acquiring HIV, similar to when a woman takes birth control to prevent a pregnancy. Research studies have shown PrEP users' promiscuity does not increase but remains the same or declines slightly due to increased sexual health awareness. It is imperative that PrEP is prescribed as part of a comprehensive prevention strategy. Medical providers should provide extensive counseling about abstinence, safer sex practices, and condom use when counseling about and prescribing PrEP to patients. Thank you for listening to our PrEP video. Please watch part two of our series to learn the diagnostic test.